And so, by way of total contrast to our location report on the making of personal services, which is inspired by the true story of Cynthia Payne, who kept a brothel in Streatham. Well, I suppose it's fair enough, even the denizens of Streatham, I dare say, must have their urgent basic needs attended to. The scriptwriter is David Leland, who also co-authored Mona Lisa. The director is Terry Jones, and the madam is played by Julie Walters. Film 86 joined them all on location in London. Okay, and uh, here we go, Mickey. Right. For rehearsal now. Cynthia Payne ran, quite, ran a brothel from uh, her house in uh, Streatham quite happily for several years without disturbing the neighbours uh, until she was raided by the police and uh, was sentenced to two years in prison for running a disorderly house. And I met her in 1983 and then uh, I spent a couple of years getting to know her and she has recorded all of her life in, in photograph albums and letters. She keeps everything. She's a talker and a hoarder. David and Leland had got loads of photos of Cynthia's to show me various things and various characters, various costumes that the girls wore, you know. We were sitting there, there were three businessmen at the next table to us. They were looking, God knows what they thought we were doing. Oh, my God, look at that, look at this one, look at that. Look at this, isn't this Willie Small and that kind of... <laughs> First position, then, Although it's inspired by Miss Payne's story, the film is not a biopic, but Christine, Miss Walter's character, has much in common with Cynthia. She's fascinated by sex and men because it's always been a disaster, right from her relationship with her father. That was a disaster. The first boyfriend she ever had, she got pregnant. You know, so it's, it's totally fascinating. What other people see in it is fascinating, and men are fascinating, the whole thing. So that's how she ends up, you know, where she, doing what she does. Well, the scene is my character's sister is getting married and um, she is, um, is the favourite of the two sisters. There's not much difference in age between them and is much more respectable, in inverted commas, you know, and, and, and they don't particularly get on, you know. My sister's marrying a copper, silly cow. My character, Christine, is, she's coming to show them, you know, she turns off and she outdoes her at every, every turn. She's upstaging her. She turns up in a Bentley where they've got some kind of stretch Granada or something, you know, the bride. And she pulls up in front of that. All the, the crowd think that it's her, that she's the bride to begin with. Look this way. So right from the start, she's, out, uh, she's there to upstage her. and Not, to, not on purpose, really, though. She's a, sort of an innocence about it as well. What animal? <laughs> got an arsehole in the middle of its back. But, a police horse! <laughs> It's funny in parts, and it's very sad in parts, but I wouldn't, it's not a comedy. I find it very sad, and the character very sad. But there, are, there is comedy. It's sort of in the situations that they get into. And the fact that she's such a... She's such an enigma, you know. There's so much going on. So much going on, indeed, that Terry Jones finds it helpful to have his good friend and writer, David Leland, on the set. David's working very closely with Julie. I mean, he's... Uh, I mean, the direction with Julie is mainly coming from David, um, because... He wrote the character, he's lived with this character for about two years, and it'd be silly really to filter it through me. And it's uh, also a bit confusing for Julie if she has two people telling you <laughs> what she ought to be doing. But funnily enough, we found that as we've been working through it, we found that uh, both Julie and I are now getting, we've now got to know the character, so we could actually take over ourselves a bit. First position! <laughs> Julie Walters going oh, down on a late roll. <laughs> I have a need to be extrovert, like she is. And I have got a dirty sense of humour as well, like she has. And probably for, for similar reasons, you know. She has it for being slapped every time she mentioned, mentioned sex, you know, and, uh, uh, and that kind of thing. And I had it for, not because I was slapped every time I mentioned sex, but it was it's that Catholic upbringing. You know, if it's not, just, you know, it's not, a, not the thing a girl talks about, you know, and the, co the convent school education as well. And all, all looking this way, when you do the guard on, all have a look, have a grin and uh, put your things up. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of that, boys? <laughs> I suppose the whole film's about sex. There's not, all, there's not very much explicit sex in the film, hardly any. Um, but it's, it's very explicit in what we're talking about, but it's not actually explicit in terms of love-making scenes and um, nudity and things, but there's no reason for that, except it just doesn't, isn't in the script. It's not... Doesn't, isn't terribly relevant. It's interesting when I tell people what I'm doing that they all immediately think it must be something down market because it's about sex, you know. It's extraordinary. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank it's you. been rumoured that Terry Jones himself will be taking a small part in the movie. 
I'm possibly going to play a transvestite in the party in the later scene. I'm not sure. A French maid is what I'm possibly going to be playing. I hope. <laughs> is this so that you can be like Hitchcock, appear in one of your own films? Uh, it's just because I want to dress up in the French maid's uniform. Shh, don't tell anyone. The secret's safe with me, tell. Oh, the bad news is that Cynthia Payne started up her business again and was promptly raided by the fuzz. Spoiled sports. As a matter of interest, the ladies of the night at the Cannes Film Festival, or so I'm told, you understand, accepted credit cards and claimed their services were deductible through a Norwegian tax shelter. In Streatham, Cynthia Payne takes luncheon vouchers. I just thought you might like to know that.